Hey everyone, Zero Fossil Fuel. Today is Friday, July 2nd, 2010. And I uh, just wanted to give you a brief update what's going on here in the garage. Um, I received a email a few days ago, actually a couple weeks ago from Desert File. And uh, he wrote to remind me that I had made a post somewhere that uh, evidence was coming that HHO actually can produce a, a net gain. And, you know, I got to thinking about that and I thought to myself, yeah, that is a project that I do need to complete. And just because he is Desert File doesn't mean he's wrong. So uh, you can see uh, the bench has some, uh, some uh, clutter on it. Need to get that cleaned up and come around over here to the collection that I've got for the um, engine test stand. I have a couple, couple more engines to play with. Um, this is the Toro engine, four-stroke engine that I was going to play with a little bit. Here is the Honda GCV 160 overhead valve uh, engine. Actually, it's an overhead cam engine. So I want to tear that apart and play play around with that a little bit. But this is the uh, main attraction right here. This is the Briggs, little Briggs and Stratton water pump motor and someone had sent me this carburetor claiming and I believe he's right that this adjustment screw right here is a run mixture adjustment not an idle mixture adjustment and if that's true then this carburetor will work very well towards the uh, towards the evidence that I'm looking for to find out whether or not HHO can have a net positive result in the uh, in the efficiency so that's what I'm working on uh, the biggest problem is retrofitting some sort of tank to the bottom of this carburetor because the, there is no float mechanism on this carburetor the carburetor simply has a pickup tube right here and there is a small cup that needs to sit underneath this with a with a fixed level of gasoline that rises to a certain level on the on this pickup tube and that is how the uh, that is how the primary mixture is set and then this is the the screw adjustment is the fine adjustment um, what happens is as the engine is running there's a vacuum signal that picks up gasoline from the bottom tube and pumps it across the top of the carburetor and down in, into a smaller, smaller reservoir for the for the actual gasoline uh, pickup tube where, that is injected into the carburetor. So this is the pumping tube, the long tube. It uh, pulls the gasoline up, dumps it into the small reservoir underneath the underneath the uh, underneath the carburetor that actually picks up the fuel to be burned. And retrofitting that to uh, some sort of glass tube that I can use to actually visualize and see the amount of gas being consumed is, uh, is the tricky part of this project. So that's what I'm working on. And uh, I'll be pulling this out and uh, rebuilding my HHO cell to feed HHO into this thing. And of course, being Fourth of July weekend, there'll be uh, plenty of uh, small explosions in the neighborhood, and some uh, plastic shrapnel, I suspect, littering my front yard. So, anyway, that's it for now. Zero fossil fuel. I hope you all have a happy and safe Fourth of July, and uh, look forward to seeing some results from the from the tests. Take care.